Hi, boys and girls. This week, we're going to get two stories, our decodable stories in our reading program. So this first story I did a little video for, and it's called Zip Up Veil. These pictures are also going to be scanned this week so that if your parents want to print them out or read them with you at home, um, they'll be able to do that as well as we're going to be getting a scanned um document of our decodable story called Val's Top. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about this story today. But before I do that, I want to try something new this week. All right, so each week I want to try to listen to you read. And in order to do that, I would love for you guys to be able to make a short video. And you can either choose from this decodable story or this one. And I would love to see that on Flipgrid or if your parents just want to make a little video and send that to me through email just so that I can hear you practice each week. Um, I think this would be a fun way to share and um, keep up with our reading skills at home. So it doesn't have to be these stories. I would prefer you to try one of these first. Um, and then if you want to show me a different book that you're reading at home, that would be great too. But try to make the video no longer than about five minutes. And like I said, these are great stories because they follow our reading program, our letters of the week, our sight words. So you can either pick from one of these two, or if you want to read another short little book at home, and just send that to me through email or through our Flipgrid, okay? So I'm going to say goodbye to this little story that we already talked about, and we're going to talk about this story today. Remember, just like we do at school, you can go ahead and write your name at the top, and the title of our story is called Val's Top, okay? I'm going to take a little picture walk with you so that you can get to see what you think this story might be all about. If we move in closer, we can see that there's a word on top of this building. This word is mall, okay? And a mall, boys and girls, is a place where people can go to shop. Lots of different stores that can be at the mall, not just one specific store. So you can get things such as clothes, teddy bears, purses, shoes. You can go shop by yourself if you're an adult. You can go with a friend. You can go with a group of people. You can take your van to go to the mall. You can take a car. You could even take a bus, okay? If we look at these two pictures, we notice a little girl is holding a shirt and it looks like a, another person is there kind of feeling the shirt and holding the shirt with her. Might be her mommy, could be an aunt or maybe even a special friend that's with her. Oh, and look, the girl that now handed that shirt over, now she's trying it on. What do you notice, though, about the sweatshirt? It has a tag on it, which means it's still brand new, okay? Oh, look, now she's trying it on. She's zipping it up, but she's also trying on the hood. Does she look happy? I think so. I think she looks like this might be a good find for her, right? So then we're going to go and look. Oh, yeah, it sure was a good find. Now she's paying for it. She's going to the register so that the man can scan her tag. She can pay for it. And now the sweatshirt will be hers to take home. Okay, so we're going to flip back to our story. And what I want you to try to do, if you want to go ahead and pause this video, you can go get yourself a set of markers or crayons, and then we'll begin. So if you have your markers and crayons out, what we're going to do first is find our green crayon or marker, and I want you to hunt for all your V's, okay? They can be uppercase, they can also be lowercase. And remember, as you hunt for these V's, that the sound of V is V, mm, V. Mm. All right, now I'm going to turn the picture to show you the next letter that we had this week was the letter Z. Z says Z, Z. So make sure you can find your pink or a red would be fine, and you can hunt for all your uppercase and lowercase Zs. And once you do that, boys and girls, <clears throat> now you can find these three words and you can take these three crowns out. You need to grab a yellow, a green, and a blue, okay? Once you have those out, I want to try to go over these words with you, and you can continue hunting for these sight words throughout your story. Let's spell this word first. Ready? C-O-M-E. Come. Come. Let's do this word and spell it. T-H-E-Y. They. They. 
And let's do our last word. L-O-O-K. Look. Look. Awesome job, guys. So remember, before you start to actually try to read this story, you're going to try to decode it. You're going to find your V's. You're also, you're also going to find your Z's. And then you're going to continue to hunt for these three sight words again. Come, they, and look. Okay? After you do that, I want you to try to look for other sight words that you know. And also try to go ahead and decode or read the words that you might not be able to to identify a sight word. So let's take, for instance, this first word. We notice that it starts with an uppercase V, and the letters that continue are A, L. We're gonna to try to stretch that word out, and we're gonna break it apart slowly, okay? V, ow. Say it again slow. V, ow. What's that word? Thou. Look, we see that word here, too, in the title. V, ow. Val. Val, boys and girls, is a short name for Valerie, and Valerie is probably the character in this story. I bet this is Val. This is Val. And look who else is with her. Do you know this word? Mm, um, mm, um, mom. Those are the two characters in this story, Val and mom. Let's try one more word together. V-A-N. If we did not know that word, we could use pictures to help us try to hunt for that word, okay? And we're going to break it apart, the sounds. V-A-N. V-A-N. Van. And look, here's a van right here in the parking lot. Okay, so continue decoding and reading. Try to always read from left to right. Make sure you're pausing as you get to the end of the sentence. Before you continue, try to read with a little expression too, okay? Um, if you see an exclamation point, you can sound excited. If you come to a question mark, you want to kind of raise your voice a little bit and pretend you're asking the question, okay? So keep reading for about 20 to 30 minutes each day. You can also use resources such as ReadWorks, Epic, and um, like I said, have a mommy or daddy when you feel comfortable. And once you've practiced a few times, pick which story you want to read uh, to Mrs. Cloud and have them film you. And you can send that to me through email or through Flipgrid. Have fun, guys. Bye.